for Saturn and the biggest remedy for Saturn as I always keep saying is to be disciplined to have a proper schedule you know uh, one of my gurus used to say that you should have a place for everything in life and keep everything in that place which means you should have a time slot you know because Saturn is also time it is Kal as they say no? <laughs> so not wasting time and knowing that time is very valuable because when you say that you do not value time or when you say that I waste a lot of time what does it mean essentially it essentially means that you don't value yourself when you say that you know oh, I just wasted one hour <laughs> doing nothing or just doing thing uh, see watching Facebook or watching unnecessary videos in YouTube or going through Instagram and staring at the photos of the opposite sex when this is how you people waste time so that's essentially like saying because we the time which we have is an essential part of our existence so when we say that <laughs> I, I i wasted time so it's me it means like saying i wasted myself it's exactly that so we should reduce the wastage of time and we should also uh, keep the place very clean as you said you know saturn is the karaka for toilets and all this and one of the indications i heard long back for uh bad saturn as they call is that the moment you enter somebody's room or the moment you enter uh, somebody's toilet specifically you get a very bad smell so now of course you cannot expect great fragrance in a toilet but at least it should not be that you know you are not able to you are not able to even go inside there so that's an indication that the people who are staying there they have they have a very bad saturn so we need to make sure that uh, the those places are very clean at least or at least we can try our best to make it clean from our side to whatever extent possible and yes being disciplined and having a schedule me doing things on time whenever you say something to somebody make sure you do it because many times it happens in our life we take things very casually that for example suppose somebody said okay i want to talk to you and then what what do we end up saying oh yeah, yeah, yeah we will talk to you today we will talk today <laughs> and then we forget and then after two two three days we may remember and we call and then person that person say oh yeah, yeah no problem we can talk today but that tendency gets very deep rooted in us and that gets transferred into all other areas of your life your boss tells you something and then you are like oh yeah i will do it and then you don't <laughs> your wife or your husband tells you do that do this oh yeah i will do it no problem and then you don't so we need to make sure that if that if you are being negligent in one area of our life we will be negligent in the other areas of our life also and being uh, and that's something very beautiful which i've learned in germany you know at least germans are very punctual about time so when you say i go at 2 it means exact 2.0 it doesn't mean 215 or 230 <laughs> so yes these are some of the things which i i would share and now let's discuss on rahu <laughs> everything that you discuss i just wanted to comment resonates with my own experience with saturn um, as, as I think, you know, I'm an Aquarius ascendant and then Saturn is in Sagittarius in the 11th house. So I'm in Saturn Mahadasha and Saturn return. And two things you said really resonate with me is no expectation. Um, and I have sun in, in the 10th house. Uh, with Mercury and then I have Venus and Moon in the ninth house in the Libra. So, um, like, I've become very much service oriented in my work. So, like, I'm always teaching on YouTube, but I have no expectation of receiving anything in return. And, um, but because I have Sun in the tenth house, I still wish I was invited to these uh, to teach at the astrology conferences. 
<laughs> and I was invited to Sedona, but I wish I was invited to some of the ones in Europe and India and stuff like that. Um, but this is something which many YouTubers, you know, they struggle, I think. It's an unnecessary struggle because many times I have seen that, um, <coughs> for example, I saw in YouTube that this competition was going on between T-Series and PewDiePie, you know. Who will win the highest number of subscribers, some 70, 80 million or something like this. So when I see such funny competitions, you know, who will gain more subscribers, I feel this is defeating the very reason you started a YouTube channel. Yeah, I just wanted to share free knowledge without any expectation. But I, there, but because my son's in the 10th house in career, I want to travel the world and work in different places as well. Uh, but but Saturn has taught me just to surrender all of my expectations. It's taught me to surrender all of my desires and just be in service. And in that, I find complete uh, peace. And then the second thing you said, which also completely resonated with me, is the routine. Because earlier in my life, I, you know, even though I'm ruled by Saturn, it's in an enemy position. So there's some room for growth. So before I went through Sati Sati, Saturn Return, Shani Dasha, I did not have a lot of routine. But as I go through Sati Sati, I wake up, I, ha I uh, do the chai, do the sadhana, read some uh, Brihat Parashara or Shastra, then maybe I'll do consultation, then I'll have lunch, then I'll do other consultation, then I'll cook my wife dinner, then I go to bed, at, uh, then I watch the baseball game, and then I'll go to sleep. And it's not like the same day is like that every day, but that's many of my days. <laughs> yes, that's the indication of a good Saturn that because Saturn gets exalted in Libra. So many times people ask this question that I cannot balance things in life. Once sometimes, you know, my career goes on the higher end, sometimes by relationships, you know, sometimes my health, my social life. So that's the test of a good Saturn. Are you able to balance the different areas of your life? Are you able to do justice to the respective areas of your life? Or are you not? To the extent you are not, to that extent, Saturn is spoiled in your chart. And that is why I always keep saying, sometimes people ask, oh, my Saturn is placed here, there, with this planet, aspected by that planet. How is my Saturn? Can you tell me? And I tell them it's very simple. Just check these points. <laughs> yeah. Are you able to balance your life? I don't care your Saturn is in Libra or it is in Aries. If you are not able to balance, then it is debilitated, maybe due to some reason. There, there are some something related to divisional charts or the exaltation is under threat or something like that. But that's the point which I'm stressing that you cannot say that my Saturn is in Libra, so I'm perfect in all these areas. Maybe you are good at it, but you need to check in reality. Navamsa. Yeah, Navamsa or whichever divisional chart, but first we check on your real life because Suppose you never knew astrology, <laughs> then how would you judge Saturn? This is the way you would judge. Huh? Right. So that's about Saturn. <laughs> that was excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Thank you also for sharing. Om Namah Shivaya, Om Pram Prim Pram Sahasranaish Charaya Namaha. Excellent. We will uh, start on Rahu, then we will just take a break. All right. So see Can you. I can, can I uh, fill up my chai? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. I, I, I have bronchitis if you can't hear. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. We'll see each other back, okay? I'll just okay. pause the recording. See you in a few minutes, my friend. <laughs> 